Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Moffitt. Guys, actually it's not morning, it's evening. I want to talk about a book today, I'm going to do a book review. You know, down here on my channel I've got a playlist, I've got a bunch of playlists. This one right here, where I review things, I also review books in this particular playlist. You may not know that. The book we're going to be reviewing today is one of my, one of my heroes, Oh Jack LaLanne. You know, I'm getting older and I'm interested in exercise and trying not to hurt myself and trying to improve the quality and quantity of my life such as it is. And uh, I was looking on Amazon and they've got a bunch of books like Fitness After 60, After 50, After 40. There's tons and tons of them. And I'm sure they're all good books and they're full of up-to-date new information. And they've got tons of reviews and a lot of positive. But I happen to have this book in my house. I got it at a thrift store about a year ago. I never did read. So last week I've been reading it and I thought to myself this would be an excellent book to let people know about Jack Lane. I don't know how many people know about Jack Lane. I kind of grew up with him. He was on television a lot when I was a kid. He kind of invented the gym and, and health and exercise craze that uh, became popular and still is in the United States. When, when Jack was a little kid, he was a sickly kid. He was like 15 years old, and he went to a, a, a speech by somebody, uh, and he got hooked on diet and exercise, and he never stopped the rest of his life. For the next 70 years, 80 years, <laughs> he didn't stop, because he died when he was 96, and he was, he was a pneumonia. He was exercising right up to the day before he died. And he invented some exercise equipment that people use in the gym today. But, but he's also famous for doing a lot of feats of strength where he would tow boats while he was shackled with, uh, with handcuffs uh, for miles. And I think when he was 45 years old, he did 1,000 push-ups and 1,000 chin-ups in one hour and 22 minutes when he was 45 years old. So he, uh, like I said, when he started out, I, I can remember seeing a store when I was a kid on, and I was in the car with my mom back in the early 60s. It was at health food store. I said, Mom, what's that? So that was the, those crazy health food nuts. They ate berries and nuts and seeds. <laughs> so back then, if you were a health food nut, you were, you were a nut. And if you exercised a lot and you were a bodybuilder, they would call you kind of a muscle freak. You know, you were, And he had to put up with a lot of uh, negativity starting out. Even when he was uh, like on his television show, he had like doctors that was against him because they thought he was a charlatan and a fraud and so on. And, and he uh, took him a lot of, he had a lot of headwind. There was a lot of things against him to get people uh, motivated to, to exercise and so on and, and, and be interested in that lifestyle. So he, he, uh, he put up with a lot. He never gave up and he never stopped exercising until he was 96 years old when he passed away. Now his book, if you have never done any exercising, I didn't get this at a thrift store. I got it in 2013. Amazon is telling me so there. I just learned something. But anyway, <laughs> this book, if you're into exercising and diet a lot, this is probably not something for you. But if you're kind of new to it, and also if you're older, he goes over and gives a lot of different exercises and a lot of tits, him hints and tips. The thing of it is he doesn't go into great detail for a lot of stuff. Like some books, they'll write a, a, a chapter on something that he goes over in three sentences. Um, he doesn't belabor the point. He just gives you the, the basics. And But he, he does go the groundwork, the, 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 the basics on everything. Not just exercising, but also diet. Also about being uh, optimistic and having uh, social interactions with, with other people and your family and so on and uh, having a good positive attitude because your mental health and state of mind is just as important as your, your food and, and, and your diet and your exercise. Um, I think they're finding more and more. It's not just your low level of cholesterol, but the high level of your social support system and, and the people you're interacting with. Um, so he was, it's, it's an all around book. There's a, there's, there is stuff in there for everybody in every facet of Im, Im, Im improving your life as far as increasing the quality and the duration, the, the quantity and quality. So 
it's it's a there's 26 chapters. He has photographs of the different exercises. There was, I think, one of them I saw was a windmill. I think Bob and Brad, the physical therapist, they say that's not a good one for your back. And maybe he has another one. This is a book from 1995, so you might want to check with some people to make sure of the exercise. But I see so many people going into uh, trying to get healthier as they're older, and they take tons of supplements, and then they get their liver messed up, or they, they do exercises wrong, and they mess up their knee or back. Or, but the stuff that he recommends is very simple, kind of uh, nothing too strenuous. And he starts off really slow, really basic stuff that just about people in any condition of health could probably start. Um, I mean, you still want to talk to your doctor, obviously, but he, 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 he it, this isn't something that, uh, <laughs> this isn't something if you're in a joint, you're trying to, <laughs> to work out and <laughs> become, uh, the next Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's trying to, to uh, get fit after a certain age, you know. It's a, it's an excellent book. I recommend it. Now, I found out some things about Jack today. I, I, before doing this video, I wanted to find out some more about him. And I learned more about some of the feats of, of strength he did. But I also learned something about this person here. Norman Elaine, which is Jack's brother, who was one year older and died a year later. He lived to be a, a year he lived 97. Jack died at 96. And so I said to myself, well, gee, this guy, I don't think he was a fitness guru. He didn't go to the gym every day and he lived to be a year older than his brother. So, 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 so maybe, you know, what what's the point of all this? If, if, if he, well, one thing is Norman, you can tell by reading this short uh, uh, article about him. He had a very strong social life. He was very popular in the community. He was very active uh, socially with friends and family and so on. So he he I was very healthy in that respect. And I'm pretty sure, I, I'm, I would bet money that being around his brother, Jack, he probably had to have had some of the diet and exercise uh, uh, regimen that Jack did rub off on him. and. Uh, if you were Jack and Lane's brother, I'm sure you didn't eat a lot of uh, corn syrup and, <laughs> and uh, things that were bad for you. And I'm pretty sure you took care of yourself. Uh, but now, like I said, he was 97. Jack died at 96. Well, what about this person here? This is Elaine Lalane. This was Jack's wife. She was married to him for like, I think, 40, 40 years or something she is still alive she's 96 she is was doing the exercise and diet program same as jack she's still alive at 96 and jack lived to 96 and his brother died at 97 so i kind of think that it there could be good genes but i i don't i don't see how you go wrong with with uh just trying to uh his little program of exercise like i said they're they're very simple exercises and his diet is is a very simple diet he basically it was fruit vegetables not seeds and the fish he didn't eat much meat at all hardly at all now and then turkey but uh so i, th I thought that was something interesting uh not a lot of people know about jack and he was an amazing guy and he was a pioneer in health and fitness uh uh way of life here in America. And he should be remembered more, I think. And his book, even though there's tons of other books about the subject, um, I, I kind of like the idea of, of getting my information straight from the, the horse's mouth, you know. Uh, so if that was something that you found helpful, I want you to know I put on new videos every single week been doing it for 14 years got over a thousand videos a bunch of playlists on all sorts of different subjects and a bunch of cool people that feature my channel down the bottom no relation to me they would not anyway <laughs> and you want to check them out and like i said if you don't like one video you wait next week there'll be a different one on a different subject so hang in there and uh i'm always happy to hear from you guys if i can answer any questions and help anyway and uh, let me know and like i said give jack's book a shot it's 698 use you get it free in the library and you might learn something all right guys hope that was helpful to you take care see you out there